Let's learn how to make Japanese omelets today. Hi everyone, this is Yoshimi. Today I'm going to show you how to make Japanese egg omelette. Now, when we make Japanese egg omelette, we normally use this kind of square skillet that is called tamago yakiki. Literally means egg omelette skillet. But I think most of you don't have this square skillet. So today I'm going to show you how to make Japanese omelette using this one and also using this round small skillet. So the ingredients first. To make one omelette, you need two eggs, two eggs, sugar, salt, and this sugar I'm using today is somewhere between brown sugar and uh, white sugar, white regular sugar, but you can use whatever sugar you like. You need sake, Japanese cooking sake, mirin, Dashi soup stock, instant dashi soup stock, vegetable oil. This is rice oil I'm using today, but you can use whatever vegetable oil you like. That something that is not too flavorful, something plain. So these are the ingredients. Let's make egg mixture first. Prepare a bowl like this and put the eggs in the bowl. And beat the eggs using chopsticks. I'm using chopsticks, but you can use a uh, fork instead. Beat the eggs. Uh, you don't beat it completely. This is good enough. And then some, uh, some water. About two tablespoons of water goes in. Half a teaspoon of Japanese dashi soup stock, instant dashi soup stock. Half a teaspoon like this. One tablespoon of sugar. Japanese omelette is very sweet and it tastes almost like a pancake or French toast. One tablespoon, a lot of sugar goes in. Pinch of salt, just a pinch. Pinch. One teaspoon each of sake and mirin. You can measure it using measuring spoon, but today I'm I'm measuring it. Just one teaspoon each. Mix this well, and this is the egg mixture. Sugar is sinking at the bottom, so mix it well. Now let's add some vegetable oil, about a tablespoon. And one tablespoon of vegetable oil seems a little bit too much for the size of the skillet, but you need it. Because when you're cooking Japanese omelette, you cook four layers, one on top of another. And uh, you're going to oil the skillet using this small piece of paper towel. And chopsticks or the skillet. So this paper towel is soaked with the oil and you're using this paper towel three more times because you're cooking four layers. Or the skillet and take it out. Put it on a little plate. Put it aside. And if you have any excess oil still in the skillet, you can pour it out. Now, the skillet is hot enough you can feel it hot here. Four layers. I'm adding one quarter of the egg mixture into the skillet. One quarter. And move the skillet immediately so the egg mixture cover all over the skillet. Oh, the heat is medium to medium high. Try to make the layer even. You sometimes see big bubble like this, and if you see those bubble, you can pop it using these chopsticks. Here. Now it's half cooked. The bottom side is totally cooked, but the top side still runny. And when it becomes like this, you roll it down towards this handle. 
I'm using chopsticks to do the job, but you can use a little spatula instead. Oh, I burned it a little bit. Like this. And then using this kitchen paper soaked with the oil. Oil here. And push this one to the top. Oil the other half. And move on to the second layer. And from the second layer onward, make sure this egg mixture goes underneath the first one so that it works like a glue to stick the layers together. Now, this is the second layer. I'm adding one third of the egg mixture. Uh, every time you add egg mixture, make sure you mix it because sugar is sinking at the bottom. One third. Move the skillet. Make sure the egg mixture goes underneath. Try to make the layer even. to roll. You'll roll in this first one in to make one big roll. And from the second layer, don't try to roll. Try to fold it. Flip it over. Flip it over. Flip it over. Two more layers. So let's oil here. Push it to the top. Oil the other half. Let's add half of the egg mixture in, move the skillet, make sure the egg mixture goes underneath, pop the bubble, pop it. It's still runny but the top side should be runny because it works like a glue to stick the layers together. Flip it over, flip it over. The last layer, which I cannot screw, oil, push it to the top, oil. This is the last layer, so I'm, I'm adding this uh, egg mixture, the rest of the egg mixture, all of it. Move the skillet, make sure egg mixture goes underneath. Pop the bubbles. And flip it over, flip it over. Gently push it for this handle. Flip it over. Do the other side. Turn the heat off and your egg omelette is ready. And it's very, very soft. So if you try to cut it straight away, it will fall apart. So you want to set it, let it sit for a while to settle. So prepare the kitchen paper like this. And push the egg omelette to the top of the skillet. Like this. And Flip it over onto this kitchen paper and wrap it up using this kitchen paper to prevent it from drying out while it's being put down. Okay, now I'm showing how to make Japanese omelette using this round skillet this time. Put generous amount of oil, vegetable oil into the skillet using this kitchen paper or the whole skillet. Take it out and pour excess oil out. I have the same egg mixture using two eggs. Sugar is sinking at the bottom, so mix it well before you add. And just like I did for the square one, I'm doing four layers for the round one. So let's add one quarter of the egg mixture. And move the skillet immediately. Try to make the layer even. 
don't try to move the egg mixer using the chopstick. Do this. If you do, do this using chopstick, you will make a lot of holes. So don't do that. And when it's half cooked, just like this one, fold both sides in a little bit. Like this. And then roll it down. Second layer, oil here, push it to the top, oil here. I'm adding one third of the egg mixture. Every time you add egg mixture, make sure you mix it. One third goes in, move the skillet, make sure it goes underneath the first one. Try to make the layer even, pop the bubble. And when it's half cooked, fold both sides in <coughs> a little bit. Like this. And then fold, flip it over to the end. Third layer, oil here. Push it to the top. Oil the bottom half. Now half of the egg mixture. Move the skillet. Make sure it goes underneath. Pop the bubble. If you say any. When it's half cooked, fold both sides in. Or you can just squeeze it in. And then flip it over. Oil. Push it up. Oil. This is the last layer, so I'm adding the rest of the egg mixture into the skillet. Move the skillet. Put the egg mixture underneath too. Pop the bubble. When you start to flip it over or flip it down, Make sure the top, part, top side is still running. It works like a glue to stick the layers together. Fold both sides in. Just a little bit and then flip it over. To the bottom and your egg omelette using round skillet is ready. Turn the heat off. Prepare kitchen paper. Flip it over onto the kitchen paper. Oops. Wrap it up using this kitchen paper to prevent it from drying out. And your egg omelette using square skillet, egg omelette using round skillet is ready. So I just let them sit for about 10 minutes so it's still warm but it's not too hot or too soft. I slice this one. This is the one made with the square skillet and this is the one made with round skillet. I made one slice of this one so let's check how it looks inside. You can see the layer. It's like a age ring of wood. Let's see this one too. You can see the layers inside. So this is how you make Japanese omelette using a square skillet and round skillet. Japanese omelette is very sweet because of the sugar I put into the egg mixture, one tablespoon of sugar. It's very sweet and it tastes almost like a French toast. And uh, omelette or egg is something that is supposed to be savory for Western people. So this egg Japanese omelette is something my guests really, really hate it or really, really love it. Either way, try my recipe. 
and if it's too sweet, you can simply reduce the amount of sugar. But you need, I think you need a little bit of sugar still. Okay, this is everything for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. I hope to see you in next video.